here in uh, Barcelona and uh, the high-speed uh, rail station um, connects us to France, the north, and to um, Madrid via uh, the interior cities, uh, one, one coastal city which is Tarragona, then we later Saragossa, and then Madrid, and two and a half hours. So after China, which is the number one uh, country with uh, high-speed railway system, the capital Madrid is connected to um, Barcelona and then to the south to the southern cities of Seville and Cordoba and Malaga. But they also have connections uh, in Galicia and to the Basque country. So um, the uh, within two and a half hours, you can get down about 700 kilometers away to Madrid, but 680, and uh, you can um, do the 1,200 kilometers down in the south in about five hours. The bull ring didn't have enough floors and they needed to have parking and they needed to have two basement levels so they raised the whole floor well besides the four sub basement levels they have a food court you that what, whatever is raised there was a great brackets you can see the the, the the red brackets put in the this concrete foundation and then with that concrete they raised it up they they sort of they wedged it in between so this bullfighting was originally built in the 1920s Well, there is a, a panoramic elevator, but there is a, there's a view up on top. The, the, the escalators inside, yes, you take a little bit longer, but you get up for free on top. So whatever you do, don't pay. So this is the Spanish square. On top of the hill, you have the Spanish pavilion of that expo. It was supposed to have been torn down nine months after the construction, but people, of course, were very upset that tax money was going to be used to, to build something as big as that and then tear it down. So now it's the National Museum of Art of Catalonia that represented industry. So all the industrial goods that were prepared here were then straight ahead. Where all these people are up on the top, we're gonna to be there. And we're gonna be looking down from that terrace onto the Plaza de España and we'll have this wonderful view over the city. So the pavilions that we have to the left and to the right. Yeah, we can't stop them here. They're not supposed to be stopping them here. Only the buses that we have. It's um, standing for, you know, you modernist. You got it all inside of you. Feel it to be true. And when you dance, I'm in the group. On the left-hand side, there is a um, collection of over 114 buildings. It's the Poble Español. This was at a time where, of course, travel within Spain without the high-speed network and without the airplanes was very cumbersome. And what they did is they wanted to bring all the marvels of the Spanish architecture. Yeah. And these are the giants. Um, and inside, uh, you've got the northern, the southern, the western, and the Mediterranean section of uh, Spain. In Spain in a nutshell, exactly. So you have Avila, you see the, the, the main gate, this is the St. Vincent's Gate up here. So we also have a lot of um, sports club, for example, this is the tennis club here of, of Montjuic on the left hand side. And we've got a very famous uh, Spanish architect and it also became a communication antenna. Have fun, you know, with the buses, right? <laughs> exactly.
哇，累死！啊，跑着下来。And then the Olympic Stadium. The Olympic Stadium was built、uh, in the 1920s. Now it's St. Jordi, which is the palace, the indoor halls. There's the swimming pools,、uh, then there is the tennis courts of the Olympic、um, Stadium, stadium and、uh, the Palace of George in the back. It has that's the sports halls, the swimming halls, the municipal swimming pool, and then、um, uh, popular games, which were never、um, held. It held Civil War refugees, and after Civil War, it was、uh, rebuilt as a large stadium, and then it will be home to the football club. Of Barcelona, so the、um, Olympic Museum is here on the right-hand side. That's dedicated to one of the IOC members,、um, Juan Antonio Samaranch.、Um, he brought the Olympic Games to Barcelona, and、um, just as we go further down, we will see the foundation of Joan Miró, that thing, which was also designed by Mies van der Rohe and Alexander Calder,、uh, gifted another flame of freedom inside.、Uh, and then we have the more Wetland、uh, botanic gardens, which are on top of the hill. And、uh, today, there's one, two, three, and four, four cruise ships. Yes, MSC is there. They are Swiss.、Um, then you have Costa Croce, which is Italian. Then you have Mindshift, which is German. And I think there's some、um, celebrity cruises. Yes, the celebrity cruises is right over there. It's an American one. Oh, there's five. There's five. So there's. Spain.、Um, then you've got what we call the clips. That's actually the name of of this installation. This art. Um, that we have here, they look like、uh, paper clips, and they're just called the clips. 
and then a very important medieval uh, structure just across this very eclectic looking harbor master building which is the um, royal ship making or sh royal ship right on the left hand side across the street is the silk market that was actually where um, what we call it's called La Locha, La Locha del Mar, um, uh, the merchants who were new on land. And on the left, that structure on the left hand side is what, where they were um, negotiating everything. And then we have the palace square, Pla de Palau. And remember, I told you about the fish. So we have fish and we have seafood. So one of the best fish restaurants is here. It's called Set Bordes, right here on the right railway side. station, which was the French station, which is right over here. And this is the new place to stop with the buses now, by the way. All right. Um, then you have the old Citadel Park, and we're going to get to the fairgrounds of the 1881 Expo. So we left the 1929 International Fairground. Um, um, Winter Garden, that's where we keep all the plants that need to grow shade. Then a museum where <laughs> pieces from all around the world were exposed, headdresses, sculptures. This is the Frederic Martorell, it's being stored. The 1881 Expo here. The Arc de Triomphe, which is the Triumph Arch. That has an allegory which welcomes, you know, it's um, Barcelona welcoming visitors from all the world. They have little uh, book fairs and um, cultural fairs here all the time to uh, the enterprises. By the way, do you see the ornaments on the left-hand side? They're steel ornaments, and what they wanted to show is that before, all the steel had to be hand-forged. Well, this is all steel that had been um, poured into molds, and this is all cereal production, and they wanted to show how you can make cereal production of um, steel and mold uh, on an industrial scale. So that's together with the lamps, together with the ornaments. They want here. I was just here before I came to do the tour. Um, I needed to get some mushroom powder, you know, yum yum powder. So um, I just needed to get some of that um, and. Uh, no, I had a uh, jiaozi. 